today we're going to start thinking about how we want to design the kitchen and the living room um, we're not sure but we're gonna take a measurement and see what we've got the couch is gonna be the TV the kitchen so I already have a few ideas on how we want this to look like and see we're really thinking about the little storage that we need yeah we're not gonna have a dining table so it's going to be just a kitchen I just want this kitchen to be perfect uh, because that's where we are going to spend most of our time here in our house um, and the fact that this space is really small and then we just need to be strategic we really need to be strategic about um, the stuff that we're going to put in So we try to draw the kitchen design now. We have a couple of stuff that we're going to bring into the mini responsible house and we just want to make sure that we have enough storage and then and this is what our references is so we're gonna have this big island. One thing for sure that I knew that I have to have it is this drying rack above the sink so this is our current sink and i'm having this dryer rack here that i usually put here after i finish and i really don't like that It'd be nice to have it here somewhere and we also need to have a storage for our um temporary compost this is where we put our scrap food before we actually put it into our composter outside so we really want to have a special place for this one. Another thing that also important is working on this mess <laughs> so this is like um, some of our food container this is our medications and this is how we basically separate our waste at the moment it's super messy and um, not enough space I think and see like this is all empty bottles um, yeah we really want to have like a, a special and designated places to separate our ways we need to think about our kitchen appliances this is like our air fryers that we use almost on a daily basis here a toaster a blender yep so and then um some of our pantry stuff and then this is like our food collections in jars yeah it'll be nice to have a place that can make this more you know better organized so i think for me the most scariest part would be removing the stuff that we have uh probably the majority of them and then just pick the, which one that are the most essential so we probably have to do the Marie Kondo thing see which one actually sparks joy even though I, I was I'm, I'm pretty skeptical about that whole thing but the fact that we only have such a limited space I think it would force us to do it anyway because we really want to rent out this space so we have really have to clear it out and to think about it again it's actually nice to have the opportunity to start fresh again in our new house so one thing that i learned when designing the kitchen is that i used to check on pinterest a lot but then i quickly realized that it's so easy to go down to the rabbit hole of unlimited pictures that are available here um, so I just tried to stick with what my original concept is so I'm trying to be um, minimalist and then design everything 
revolve around the stuff that we already own what we usually do in our kitchen and without having to buy anything new if, if, if possible so this is what we finally come up with this is not fully done yet but I guess this is roughly what we want to look like for our kitchen so the left hand side is the place for the kitchen appliances and then the stove and then the storage and the place to separate our ways and then the sink and finally the refrigerator we'll still need to come up with the design for the kitchen island but at least we're making progress today one step at a time thanks for watching